Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and today I want to show you two newer pieces of technology. The thing we're really going to be looking at is a new form of image called a plotograph. It allows you to take a photograph and add movement to it after the fact, which is really cool for dynamic content, for things like digital magazines and websites, or even just your portfolio. And I'm going to be doing this on the surface because I want to be able to actually draw my masks and animate right on the screen. So here's how it works. Now I'm using the Plotograph Pro website. I'm part of their beta program here. This is new technology that's going to be coming out. Simply put, you just tap New Project and choose a file. So you can navigate and grab things off of your hard drive. Let's take this image here. This is a simple one and I'm going to create a time lapse from it. So we'll call this Desert Sky and I'll click Create. What it does now is open up the image, and we need to mask things out. A mask simply says this part of the image is selected, and this other part isn't. So I'm going to make parts of this image frozen, in this case the mountain range. Mountains don't move very much, but those beautiful clouds in the sky, I'm going to put those into motion. Again, keep in mind, this is not a video file. This is a single high-quality photo. Let's go ahead and make a selection here. So I'll take the automated mask tool and add an area to the mask. And I just need to draw what's going to be part of that image. So loosely sort of trace along the foreground, the parts that are going to be frozen. There we go. Now I'll go back to that automated mask tool and subtract. Just make sure you choose subtract area from the mask. And now just sort of draw on the parts you want to animate. There we go. Now it analyzes it and attempts to make the mask. And that did a great job. You see there that the mountain range is selected and the sky isn't. Now I'll click, now I'll click jump into the feather tool and simply adjust the feathering so it's got a gentle transition. That's got a nice soft edge now. So I can click apply and it generates the mask. If you want to see that, tap layers you turn off your lines and instead look at the mask and it did a great job. The mountain is frozen and the sky is ready to animate. This is a single photo, but through a really cool process, I can add some animation points and create movement within the photo. Here's how it works. I'll click over here to choose my animation points and I'm just going to add some points to start. You want to go through and put them on different parts of the image. There we go. And I've added to this. There we are. Now I'll grab my arrow tool here and just select all of those points and pull them. Click and drag a little bit to the left. That seems to be the direction that the clouds are moving. All right, that looks good. Let's just make the window a little smaller here so we can see all the controls. And I'll click the play button. It's going to analyze the image and attempt to create motion there in the sky. Here it comes. There we go. And now the clouds are moving in the photo. That's very cool. Now, we can adjust settings here for things like how long is the animation. I can make that a little longer. I'm going to increase the blur just a little bit. I like that. And we'll make that a little longer. That looks good. And now I'll re-preview that. And you'll see that it gives it a slower, more gentle animation. Let's just make that full screen. And you see that we've got this great animation here where the clouds seem to float from behind the mountain in the scene. Now, this is creating a simple animation. What's cool about this is you can export this content and it's ready to share on Twitter, Facebook, or in your portfolio. I love the ability, though, to just work right on the canvas, painting what I want, and then dragging those animation points around. I find the use of the pen to be very intuitive.
Now this is beta software. This is a brand new company. This is simply really cool. The company is called Plotograph Pro and you can check them out. But I think this is going to be a hot new image format that's really going to change things in the world of digital photography and of course online advertising. Thanks for watching.